For those of you who like to exercise out there, I've tried everything. I go in the morning, I've tried everything for breakfast on what works best for me, and this is what I've come to the conclusion on. <laughs> Low sugar cereals like these here. And the best thing, I have about 500 calories worth of cereal every morning, and I mix it up, and I'll take something straight from unit six or level six on structure adaptations. Our body will get used to foods if we keep having them over and over day after day. So my tip to you is mix up your diet and have something different. So I don't mean go to bacon and eggs or anything like that, but even as simple as mixing up cereals, having something different on toast, and your body will like it. At least mine does. I noticed such a big difference and maybe you will too. Totally random, but I went out running. I'm still in my running gear here and I noticed such a big difference today because I had a different cereal and that's all it takes. So anyways, give that a try. Totally random. Let's go through today. I've got four topics to go through today. Uh, I'll talk about the last one. I took it a little bit on the chin on this frenzy and that's what I'll go into my last point there. I went back to the well with skipping the pre-booking frenzy and I'm going to give you a screenshot of my results there for you to take a look at also. So let's get right into it. First, thank you for those that subscribe to my channel. I got a dozen subscribers since my last video. That is awesome. Thank you people. I do appreciate that. I will hold my word that I will not accept a referral from this channel. I did have a comment that came through and I thought a very fair comment saying, what would you do if you got a friend or someone wanted to um, want you to be their mentor and, and help them through and refer? And I said, yes, I would do that. I would do that. But here I'll take it to another level. If I ever get one of those, I will give the money away to someone on this channel. So, and I'll show you proof of me doing that. So I probably won't get that many of them, but if I do, I will give that money away. So I'll take it to the next level to be fully transparent on that. Okay, so that is on also on referrals as well, my second part. Number three, level one. So I mentioned in a prior video how I was struggling, I felt because of in my level one. And the reason why I felt that is because I just felt I wasn't retaining near as many level ones as I was the other levels. I'll link that video for you right here. I give a lot of good tips, I think, about doing a great job with the level ones. And lately I have been, I've been applying those tips and I've been noticing I'm retaining a lot more level ones, which I'm a huge fan of. I love those little people. I had now have two, three year olds, which they're just awesome. And take a look at that video. The probably the two best things I'm doing with the level ones right now is I'm really nailing those letter sounds. So like I mentioned, Justin, uh, mentor Justin gave a good listing of the letter sounds. I take all of these to class and I make sure I do the sound effects with them and the kids just love them. You can look up Justin uh, on YouTube there and you can see him. I also linked him in that video that I put up there too. That's one thing that I'm doing well with them. Also, the second thing I'm doing with them is I'm just really banging through the props. So I'm using so many more props with level one as compared to the other levels. Just really throwing that visual, which I think is super important when you've got like one or two words, really nailing home as many props as you can with them. And one little tip I'll give you. I find a lot that I run a little bit quick with the level one, especially those ones that are very smart. So there's, and it's so hard to extend. Here's my tip, or I've got two tips for you on how to extend. Uh, and, and not at the, uh, you try and extend as you go along, but this is at the end when you're like, oh, I've got like four minutes to kill here and I've got no slides left. So I really love that blank slide. And what I do with that blank slide is if they're a basic student, I mean, they don't really, they're not really advanced in it. What I'll do is I'll just get them to spell their name. So I'll put little dashes for how many letters in their name. And I'll ask them to spell their name. And if they can't, then I'll help them along. And that's a great way to kill a few minutes. And they need to know how to spell their name. So that is a really good one. The second one, which I'll do with a little more advanced students. So the students that bang through the slides and 
they can handle a little bit more of a challenge is I'll play the guess the word game with them again on that blank slide. So I'll bring up my letters here, we'll go to the blank slide and I'll get them to pick letters. And what I love doing for them, which is easy for them, is that you get them to pick animals. So, and make sure, or I say, I should say I pick the animals and they then they guess the letters. So pick animals with like five or six letters, because you want them to get letters along. You don't want to make it like really small like cat because there's only three they can get. But like tiger they know and horse and monkey a lot of them know. So five or six letters and just put those dashes again on that blank slide. And that's a great way to kill a few minutes too. And they love it. And it's just a great way, a great game for them to grasp sort of spelling and whatnot and animal names. So that is my tip for extending um, when you're like, oh, I've got a couple minutes left uh, with level one. Okay, so let's get into the frenzy. So this was the main topic of the video here. So as I mentioned in my video last week there, I'll link it right up here about my bypassing the pre-booking frenzy. We set the alarm again at 12.55. So I'm on the Atlantic time zone again, not Eastern. I'm one hour ahead of Eastern. So the frenzy starts for me at one. I bypass the pre-booking frenzy again. And this time I got 55 students. So take a look, here is my schedule right here for you to take a look at. And this time I only got six. I only got six new students. And I only got 55 classes compared to 64 and 15 new students the week prior. So definitely not as good of a result. I am still happy with the amount, the new students anyways. I was hoping for more. My typical amount of new students lately has been two, three, four in a long there. So getting six is good and I'm going to get more than six because I'll keep getting uh, some bookings throughout the week here. So that's great. So really, again, I'll stress my analogy of going out and sometimes you have to plant seeds in the garden because yes, you might not have as many classes for this week, but I think with getting new, more new students, hopefully, if I do a good job, more new followers, that's gonna help me in the long run. And we'll wait and see, but anyways, I've tried it again. It wasn't as good of a success. I will always show you, even if I'm successful or not in my experiments, just so you can see. I don't wanna be one-sided and painting a picture that may not be rosy sometimes. So sometimes I'm gonna show you my own defaults as well, which there's plenty of, trust me with that. Um, just so you can see, you can see a well-rounded, not just a one-sided, oh, this worked for Andrew. I wanna show you it didn't work as well for me, but nonetheless, I still think in the long run, it will pay dividends. So anyways, let me know. I've heard from other people have tried it. Gwen, I believe, mentioned she's tried this. Other people has me have mentioned they've tried it. Have you tried it? Would you consider doing it? Um, please leave some comments. I love getting your comments. I love reading them, and I try to respond to all of them. Please do like my video and subscribe as well. I do appreciate that. And come back for another video in a few days. I try and do two or three every, uh, every week. Bye, everybody.